Greetings everyone, we will continue our discussion on information retrieval systems. In the previous session, we have started about the thesaurus construction and we have looked about some of the features of your thesaurus. In this session, we will be continuing about the various features of the thesaurus. So in the last session, we have started about this particular topic regarding what are the features of your thesaurus. So we will be having these six features that is the coordination level, the term relationships and other features. In the previous session we have looked about the coordination level. So the coordination level refers to the construction of phrases from your individual terms. So how many number of terms can be present in a phrase and what is the level of number of terms can be present in the phrase will be your coordination level. Okay. So this coordination levels can, coordination can be done post or pre-coordination that is it can be done pre-coordination and the post-coordination a pre-coordination is the one that can contain phrases okay it will contain the phrases the phrases are available for both indexing and retrieval and the post-coordination post-coordination doesn't allow the phrases the phrases are constructed while searching process is done and the advantages of your precondition pre coordination is that the phrases will be present okay now when you are having a clear set of phrases we will be having a clear index construction when you are having a clear index construction we will be having the searching process and the effective of your search effective of your search retrieval will be better and most commonly used phrases also will be part of your vocabulary the advantage of your post coordination is that uh, the user can give the particular search query in whatever order he wants. He can be giving different order of your search query and phrase combinations can be created while okay while performing the search. The disadvantage is that the results will be very low. Okay, the effect will be or your precision will be very less. So that was about the coordination that is whether you can have terms in your phrases or not and how, what is the level of coordination you are implementing. Okay, that was about coordination level. The then uh, next thing is about uh, so your pre-coordination will be used in your uh, manual construction of your thesaurus, and the post-coordination is used in the automatic uh, thesaurus construction. And the second type of the second feature of your thesaurus is your uh, term relationships. The term relationships will be very much useful. Why? Because it will be helpful for you to retrieve retrieve better documents. There are many kinds of relationships, and those are expressed in your manual thesaurus. These will be usually semantic nature and more application dependent. And uh, there are types of your uh, relationships. One is your equivalence relationship. The second is a hierarchical relationship. The third one is your non-hierarchical relationships. And these relationships have more semantic in nature, so there's implementing and identifying those relationships require knowledge of your the domain and also the implementation part, that is the thesaurus knowledge domain. Of, of the particular domain, you need to know about the domain, the relationship between about the terms will be has to be known before construction of the thesaurus. So implementing this particular relationship between the terms is somewhat of uh, the automatic methods why because it is more dependent on the application okay so it is usually done manually but the automatic methods implementation is somewhat tough the next type of uh, feature or the next feature of your thesaurus is the number of entries for each term okay so it is in generally preferable to have single entry for one thesaurus term Okay, for each and every thesaurus term, you can have one single entry. But however, there is seldom achieved due to presence of homographs. Okay, so homographs are those words with multiple meanings. You will be having same word with multiple meanings. So if you are having such words, constructing or having one entry for each term will not be possible. Okay, if you are having homo homographs in your uh, vocabulary at that time it is not possible to have one term for one entry sorry one entry for one thesaurus term also the semantics of each instance of a homograph can also be conceptually deciphered so the particular semantics also will vary for each and every term meaning that is the existence of a homograph at one instance will be having one meaning the same existence of a word in a different context will be having a 
different mean so the semantics also will vary so but basic thing is you need to have one term for one thesaurus entry sorry one entry for your one thesaurus term but it will not be possible for you to have this thing why because you might be having homographs in your homographs in your vocabulary when you are having homographs in your vocabulary you cannot have one entry for one term in your thesaurus so therefore it is more realistic to have a unique representation or entry for each meaning of a homograph so it is better instead of having one entry for one term it is better to have one unique representation or an entry for each and every different meaning of homographs so if you are having a particular word with three different meanings it is better to have one word with three entries okay so this is also this also allows each homograph entry to be associated with one set of relationships so based upon the context or the semantics of the particular word it can be having its own relationships okay if you are having three different entries for the same word what will happen each word might be related with different terms so the meaning of the particular word also will be different okay so the related words also will be different so the semantics can be identified much easier so it is better to have different entries for different homograph meanings okay so the problem is that multiple term entries add a degree of complexity in using the thesaurus especially if it is to be used for automatic so whenever you are having multiple terms for the same thesaurus word okay it will be helpful for you in a semantic terms but it will increase the complexity of your thesaurus construction more so while you are doing it automatically in manual thesaurus construction you will not be having much issue why because you need to have your own work but when you are going for automatic thesaurus construction it will become more complex and it will add complexity to your thesaurus construction okay specificity in the next part that is next feature of your uh, particular vocabulary or your complete thesaurus is the specificity of your the vocabulary the specificity of your uh, thesaurus vocabulary is a function of precision associated with the component terms okay so the precision is uh, related more about the terms which you are having so what is the uh, precision of the term whether it is pre uh, present at the more generalized level or more specified level okay whether the thesaurus terms are present at uh, more generalized terms or they are present have they are having more specialized terms a highly specific vocabulary is able to express the subject in great depth and detail okay if you are having a vocabulary with a highly specialized words that is you are having less number of general words and you are going into depth of each and every word present in your system and you are having a highly specialized vocabulary at that time you are able to uh, describe your whatever or express the subject in more depth and detail okay the thesaurus will be having words which will be in more depth and detail and will be having a large vocabulary okay this promotes precision in retrieval as well when you are having large number of words with high precision in your thesaurus at that time the retrieval also will be highly precise why because you will be getting the results for a specific terms but the the present disadvantage is that the size of the vocabulary grows since a large number of terms required to cover the concepts in the domain okay so the main disadvantage of having highly specialized vocabulary is that you will be having large number of terms which describes the domain so as you are having large number of terms then the size of the vocabulary also will automatically increase okay so also specific terms tend to change more <coughs> excuse me specific terms tend to change more rapidly than the general terms therefore such vocabularies tend to require more regular maintenance okay when you are using specific terms more related to your uh, application those specific terms usually evolve or change with the course of time okay they might be replaced by a similar uh, or more advanced word okay so what you have to do is you have to perform regular maintenance of this thesaurus when you are having highly specialized thesaurus okay 
So if you are having a more generalized SRS, you will not be having uh, more maintenance, but you will be having generalized results. And the size of your thesaurus also will be small. When you are having a specialized thesaurus, at that time the terms which are present in the thesaurus will be more specialized. The retrieval also will be more precise. And but the size of your uh, thesaurus will be very high. But you also need to do more maintenance for your terms that are present in your thesaurus. That is about the specificity of your thesaurus. That is whether you are having generalized terms or more specific terms in your thesaurus. Next, the next feature of your thesaurus is the control on the term frequency of your class members. So this is a different topic. This has relevance mainly for statistical thesaurus construction methods which work by partitioning the vocabulary into set of classes. Okay. We are, we are going to have something called as the statistical thesaurus construction methods. Okay, these construction methods what they do is they partition the complete vocabulary into set of classes, each class containing a collection of terms. Okay, so whatever may be the large set of the vocabulary, this vocabulary is broken down into classes and each class will be having a certain set of terms. Okay, so in order to maintain a good match between the documents and queries, it is necessary to ensure the terms included in the same thesaurus class has roughly equal frequency. That is, if you are having a large vocabulary, your vocabulary is broken down into classes. Okay. So what you have to do or what is the control you have to keep on the term frequency is that number of terms, that is, it is to ensure that the terms included in the same thesaurus class whatever the terms, you will be having term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4 are on equal frequency that is if you are having 5 terms of T1 there should be 5 terms of T2 there should be 5 terms of T3 5 terms of T4 so the terms that are present in the class has to be equal frequency terms that should be the condition here and the classes which represent the complete vocabulary also have to be uniform they should not be a too much of a large class or should not be having a too much of a small class. So those are the two conditions. So further the total frequency in each class should also be roughly similar. As I told you, if you are having the vocabulary and it is broken down into classes, okay, so it might be having some ten set of terms. Okay. So make sure you have the same term frequency between the terms in the particular class. Okay, so these terms have same frequency and also the total frequency of your uh, classes. That is the total frequency T1 is 3 times, T2 is 3 times. So the total frequency of the class will be 6 that time. So the total frequency of the classes also have to be almost similar. So how to make sure your particular terms in the classes also have to follow this particular criteria. So these are the two constraints which you have to be maintaining while maintaining the term frequency in your class members. So we will be having the classes. The classes have to be broken down in such a manner that, that the classes have to be made in a such a manner that the total uh, class frequency is similar and also inside the class the terms have to be present in such a manner that the term frequency is also a similar value. So these constraints are imposed to ensure that the probability of a match between a query and the document is same across classes. So if you follow these constraints, whenever a, con uh, whenever a query comes, there is a uh, equal probability for each and every class to get the result from that particular class. Okay. This is how these constraints have to be implemented. In other words, terms within the same class should be equally specific and the specificity across the classes should also be same. Okay, they will be equally specific, the terms which are present will be equally specific and they will be uniform across all the classes. This is how you can be implementing the control on term frequency inside your class members. Okay, the last feature of your complete thesaurus is your normalization of the vocabulary. So normalization of vocabulary terms is given by considerable emphasis in manual thesauri. 
there are extensive rules which guide the form of thesaurus entries that is whenever it, a particular term has to come into thesaurus it has to be normalized in such a manner that it is a simple term a simple rule is that term should be in known form so this is one level of normalization that is the terms which are coming into the thesaurus should be a known form a second rule is that the noun phrases should avoid prepositions unless they are commonly known okay the noun phrases which you are using should contain sorry should avoid prepositions unless they are commonly known phrases also a limited number of adjectives should be used okay you should not be using too many adjectives in your phrases and words okay so those are the rules these are the simple rules which you can apply for normalizing your words which are are the normalizing the terms which are coming into the thesaurus that we will be calling it as the normalization of your vocabulary okay so the advantage is normalizing is that variant forms are mapped into the base expressions thereby bringing down the consistency of the vocabulary so if you are normalizing this term all the uh, more generalized uh, sorry more uh, large number of terms will be mapped to base expressions like your stemming okay they will be mapped to your base expressions thereby reducing the uh, thereby bringing the consistency of your vocabulary as a result the user does not have to worry about variant forms of a term okay so when you are having this particular implementation of your normalization of the vocabulary i should not be worried about what are the various other forms of the same term normalization rules in automatic thesaurus construction are simpler seldom involving more than stop list filters and stemming okay so the normalization process of your words okay can be simply implemented in your automatic thesaurus construction by using stop list and stemming algorithms so this is a how it can be implemented normalization is basically about filtering the terms which are present in your thesaurus that is how many number of terms that are present in the thesaurus at what level of term they should be present all this will be uh, created by your normalization so when you are performing the normalization of your vocabulary you are basically filtering which are the words which are to be present in your index in the next session we will be looking about uh, how you are going to perform this thesaurus construction either manually or automatically okay thank you